Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and I am crazy excited to show you the new Blue Eddy EB55 power station solar generator. This just came out middle of last week. I've been testing it for a few weeks now and I absolutely love this thing. Now, you may notice that it looks very similar to the Blue Eddy EB70. If you've seen any of the power station reviews on my channel, some of the trip videos, you know, this is my favorite power station of all the ones that I have, this is my go-to. And what they have done is taking, taking the EB70, which is a 716 watt hour power station and reduced it down to a 537 watt hour power station. But they took the 700 watt, 1400 watt peak pure sine inverter from the EB70 and they put it in the EB55, which makes this unlike any other 500 watt power station on the market. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware, they have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. The EB55 absolutely blows the competition away in the 500 watt power station. So you're talking the Goal Zero Yeti 500X, you're talking the Jackery Explorer 500. Um, Gosh, there's so many out there right now. Balder 500, uh, Rock Pals 500. This thing has a total of 13 outlets on this. I've currently got 11 things plugged into this. It's got four AC outlets running off that 700 watt inverter. I've got my uh, camera battery. I've got my handheld radios plugged into that. I've got my, the batteries for my uh, electric chainsaw plugged in. I've got my drone batteries plugged into that. This thing has four USB-A ports, which I've got my camera battery, I've got my GoPro battery, I've got my Apple Watch, and I've got this USB fan because it is unbelievably hot and humid out here today. And it's got one USB-C 100 watt PD port. So I've got my MacBook Pro plugged into that charging and then of course it's got the 12 volt cigarette output which my fridge is currently running off of and it's got the wireless charging port that is currently charging my iPhone all you gotta do is pop your phone up there and it'll start charging and right now with all of this plugged in it's pulling 264 watts so I can run this for a couple hours um, if I had to charge all of this so, which is which is fantastic I mean the fact that Blue Eddy put a 700 watt inverter and all of these outputs on a 500 watt battery pack is just incredible. No other power station on the market in this range does this much. No other power station on the market besides the EV70 can do this much, period. And honestly, the EV70 doesn't have as many USB ports as this does, so this really can power more things than any other power station until you get into the like the the blue eddy ac 200p um, which is just a beast and, and humongous but i think this thing is absolutely incredible it comes in two colors it comes in this nice dark gray it comes in a very nice blue with my gladiator being blue i i, I kind of wish i'd gotten the blue one but i've got the gray one and i think it looks really nice the specs on this 537 watt hours for the battery 700 watt pure sine inverter with 1400 watts peak. It has lithium iron phosphate batteries inside, which gives you a massive 2500 cycles before this thing reaches, drops to 80% capacity. The inputs on this are also unlike any other power station in this class. It has the eight millimeter for your AC input and that will charge it at about 200 watts. So, you know, in three hours, you can have this thing fully recharged. And then it also has this XT60 port, which is your solar and your car charger input. And this thing can accept 200 watts of solar as well. Plugged into a car charger, I was getting about 80 watts of power, which is pretty darn good. So it could recharge this in, you know, six, seven hours while you're on the move. 
And if you are in a really big hurry to get this thing recharged, you can plug 200 watts of solar in plus the AC brick and get 400 watts potentially of input and charge this thing in, in an hour and a half to under two hours. So that's pretty incredible. I have currently got the EB55 plugged into my Blue Eddy 200 watt solar panel and it is a very hot and very humid and slightly hazy day today and we are getting currently 117 watts of input which is pretty respectable 120 watts considering how hazy it is today so if I didn't have all of this stuff plugged in just running my fridge and charging a few things I could easily make that last just for a very very long time so just for fun my Jeep has a 400 watt inverter in the cab and so let's I've got this power brick plugged into the inverter in the front. Let's just see how much extra input we can get running both. And depending on the solar input, 320 watts worth of input can recharge this thing crazy fast. So, you know, if you're parked at camp and this thing is just dead and you need to charge it fast, turn your rig on, plug this in, plug some solar in, and in a couple hours, you can have this thing fully recharged, which is pretty incredible. In the box, you get a 200 watt, pretty good sized power brick. This thing does have an annoying fan on it that is on anytime this thing is plugged into the wall. Doesn't matter if it's charging this or not, the fan is on if this is plugged into the wall. For some people, that is a big annoyance for me. It's not that big a deal. I don't like have this thing charging right next to me while I'm watching TV at night or, you know, anything like that where this sounds gonna bother me. So for some people it's a big issue, for me, not so much. It comes with the car charger with the X, XT60 on the end, and then it comes with solar cables, MC4 connectors to plug into just about any solar panel. One thing I do on every power station test that I do is plug this into our Dometic CFX 355IM, which is a 55 liter single zone fridge, and see just how long this will run it. With all of our tests, we do it inside the house. The house is typically about 74 degrees, so the ambient temperature is pretty constant. We've got two water bottles in there just for some temperature regulation. And this thing ran the Dometic at a very impressive 47 hours and 15 minutes, so just shy of that 48 hour mark, which is on par and slightly better than just about every 500 watt power station that I've tested. So, excellent job. I know that I can take this out on a trip plug my fridge into it overnight so I don't have to worry about the starter battery and it's not going to be drained by the next day. It's going to you know, still have 60-70% battery left on this in the morning when I'm, you know, plug the fridge back into the Jeep and, and keep going. I can easily recharge this while I'm on the go and so this power station will do very well for overlanding, car camping type situations. I think it's going to be fantastic. In addition to all the amazing ports and inverter and wireless charging and everything that this has, it's also got a pretty decent light on the back. Now, if you've seen my other power station reviews, I'm not a big fan of a lot of lights that come on these because I think they're gimmicky, but this one is actually, I don't know if you can see it out here in the sunlight, but it's got a really nice diffused light. So you could put this on your table, you know, shine out, you know, shine in your campsite. It's got low, high. It's got an SOS in case you need to signal someone. But it's a pretty good light. I, I think I would actually use that. It does come with a two-year warranty, which is fantastic and a lot better than a lot of the than a lot of the, the lower end really budget brand power stations. They're gonna give you a one-year warranty. This one comes with a two-year warranty, which is fantastic. As far as price goes, this thing lists for $499, which considering all you get with this is a great deal. And we have a coupon code, links in the description, coupon codes down there too, that will get you $55 off making this $444. That is a heck of a deal. If you've been watching the channel recently, you know that we have recently been out in Moab in the Gladiator, putting it through its paces, running the hardest trails in Moab. And on one of the trails, 
we did have a break and broke a u-joint so i needed to pull the axle shaft and luckily a friend of mine had an electric impact wrench but not a not a cordless one but a, a, a wired impact wrench and so we plugged that thing into the eb55 and were able to get the tire changed in no time When you compare this to the competition, the Jackery 500 is gonna be the one that most people are comparing this to. There is no contest. They are the same price at 499, but the Jackery, one AC output, three USB-A outputs, no, no USB-Cs. Does have the cigarette lighter output, no wireless charging on the Jackery, and it doesn't have crazy fast charging. 200 watts of the, the 200 watts of input for AC and solar and combining that, Jackery doesn't even come close. Jackery maxes out at 100 watts, takes seven and a half to eight hours to recharge that thing, whereas this one is, you know, three to, to four max to recharge this. So no contest when you compare this to the Jackery 500. I hope you found this helpful in comparing to the EB70. You know, if you can't do 700 watts, if that's just too much, or if this is out of your budget, the EB55 to me is a no-brainer. It is a fantastic power station that can do all the things you need it to. It can recharge super fast. And I really, with the exception of, you know, I, I continue to gripe about Blueetti's displays, but this one, you know, it, you can actually see it in the sunlight, which is great. Um, Blueetti has fixed uh, the biggest issue that I had with the EB70, and that's the power buttons and being able to just tap them on and off and accidentally maybe shutting uh, you know shutting your power outlets off now you have to push and hold for just a second um, and now you can tap any of them to get the display to come on and there's no risk of, of actually turning anything on or off so thank you blue eddie for fixing that issue on the eb70 um, anyway i hope this was helpful if you would please like the video um, subscribe to the channel we got a lot of great stuff coming out um, a lot more gear reviews, a lot of great trip videos coming out. And if you would, if, if you're liking this channel, if you you know take a look at our Patreon and consider supporting us in a, in a very tangible way. It is our goal to, to do this full time, hit the road full time when the kids graduate from high school. And so help us fulfill that dream. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Links to everything are in the description below, plus the coupon code. And we'll see you next time. Bye.